Legends. Today you're going to build a game app. Uh, it's going to feature your favorite plumber, uh, Mario. He's going to be able to chase around a mushroom and uh, gain points and get larger and, and smaller and so on. Uh, your final app will look something like this, where you'll be able to start the game and you'll be able to control Mario. And when Mario successfully finds and gets to the mushroom, he'll get larger. And if he runs into Bowser, he'll get smaller. And eventually you'll be able to start over and so on. All right, so you're gonna build that. We're starting with the template here. Uh, we've already got some rows set up for you as well as a score label, a start button, and a time label so you can keep track of those things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is build our controls. So we need some up and down buttons. So we'll go to the components uh, area here. We'll bring in a button. We'll put the button in row two. We will rename this button the up button so we know where to find it when we're doing our coding. And we'll change the text. Uh, we'll add a couple more buttons here. So we need actually three in row two. So start with one. This will be the left button. And then we'll add another one here. Actually, one will be on the other side. There we go. Okay, this will be the down button. And uh, the last one here, try to sneak it in on the other side. There we go, is the right button. Um, so we have our up, down, left, right. And we want to actually space them out a little bit. So I'm actually going to go back to the down button. I'm going to create a margin on either side. So the buttons are spaced out a bit. So we'll go 20 and 20. So now we have some space around our buttons. Um, the next thing we want to do is add, we need to add some sound components. So we'll add one in here. We'll put it right on the top there. And this one, see, what sounds do we need? We need, uh, for the first one, we need to know when we're uh, powering up, when we're touching, uh, when Mario collides with the mushroom. Set that up. Um, third thing we're going to do here is we're going to add a canvas. The canvas is a component that allows us to do sort of animation, which is the key to the game. So we're going to drag it right on top of row one. It's going to sit up here and notice it gives us a whole other sort of menu of options, some things that we can do. And we, what we want to do first off is set up our sprites. So we have an interesting thing here where we can set up a sprite type, and that's a template. And based on our sprite type, we can pull out as many copies of that template as we want. So we want to adjust our sprite type here. And we're going to want to rename this as our Mario sprite. We want to change or add a potential picture to our picture list. So we'll add Mario in there. We want to erase the Uncle Beaver. Starting at 50 is totally fine. Um, and because uh, something we're going to build into this game is when Mario touches uh, the mushroom, he should get larger, just like in the game. We want to add another. Oh, and let's make sure we, we rename Mario here as well, just so we have an easy time finding him when we're coding. Um, so in this area here in the sprite type, we're actually going to add a sprite type. And we want this one to be our mushroom sprite. And we want to change the image. We need the mushroom PNG. Add that in. Bye-bye, Mr. Beaver. And same height and width. Excellent. And we want to drag a mushroom sprite out. You can really drag it anywhere. And the mushrooms on our, our screen. Um, the very last thing we want to do. Oh, and let's make sure mushroom is actually just so it's easy to find. I'm going to click on sprite one. And so when we're doing our coding, it's easy to find what we're, what we're looking for. Um, the last thing we want to do here is we're going to add a timer component in. So we got to click back to design add a timer and we're going to deal with the timer in the challenges but i just want you to have that on the screen okay that's part one come back for part two we'll do some block coding